Last year in March, we applied for SSAH, and in June, when the new government um, came into place, we were told the program has been put on hold. We've been accepted into the program, but it's been put on hold. Good evening. We first broke the story that autism funding had been frozen for months and that parents have been left in the dark. Well, a city news investigation reveals tonight that funding for another program called Special Services at Home, which helps children with autism but also with other disabilities, has also been frozen and has been frozen for several months. In fact, it's been frozen since before this government took office. For the first five years of her life, uh, the funding was frozen, so we couldn't even apply for funding whatsoever. Uh, so we had a lot of needs, but we didn't have access to those funding. Alexis is seven years old and requires constant care and monitoring. Her family uses that money to give her parents a few hours of rest. It's not tons and tons of money, but the respite helps us to get at least like one night a week, you know, for like every two weeks basically uh, in the year to be able to get some help with that. According to a spokesperson for Lisa McLeod, the Minister of Children, Community and Social Services, families like the Payette Kirillix will receive letters in coming weeks confirming their funding has been renewed. But families like the Chagpars will not because they weren't already in the program. In a statement, a government spokesperson points out that the problem started with the Liberals. Unfortunately, this program is another example of the previous government's failed policies that left 5,700 people languishing on a wait list, which began in January 2018 after a three-year funding commitment ended in March 2017. Children are brought off the list as funding allows. There is no mention of the funds in the budget, but we do know that spending for the ministry has been reduced by nearly $400 million next year. Funding for this specific program has essentially been frozen. That's just really cruel. Uh, these are really vulnerable children with parents who are sticking with those kids, and they're sacrificing a lot. To say you're on your own, we're not going to help you, good luck, is it's just unconscionable. You or I would recognize this for the kind of cruelty that it is. This government shouldn't be acting this way. It just simply shouldn't be. It's not even a lot of money, but to us, it's, it means the world because, again, that means that we can work, we can, we can keep on with normal lives or whatever our version of normal is. Now, the minister's office didn't address our repeated questions about how much money is actually spent on this program every year, but did acknowledge that not a single family has moved off of that wait list since January 2018.